And we're back. We're carrying on the mission. Right. <laughs> anyway, so... What were we saying? About binge drinking. culture drinking yeah. things. Binge, so, binge drinking's a British thing more than drinking itself. Because you talk to your parents, I bet they didn't start drinking at 18, did they? Younger. Yeah, well, exactly. My parents were exactly the same. Yeah. You know? And if you go back long enough, drinking alcohol was safer than drinking water. Hmm. You know, the 1950s were a horrible time. <laughs> Not quite that, you know, but a bit further than that, I think. But no, I think my... Uh, I think, you know, everything was more relaxed back in the day. My dad used to tell me his stories when he was 14 going up the woods with his motorbike and just pissed about on that with his mates, you know. Yeah, I think, probably. I wish I had that. You know, he's fucking uh, lucky he had that. All I've got is bloody fucking video games. I say that, uh, we're playing them, but you know. You know, he had a go at me for never going out and socialising. It's like, well, I don't have that ability because if I do shit like that, I'll just have like, you know. But it's it's, it's the different. police on me. It's different generations. You know, our generation is brought up with the internet, the communication highway, the hub of communicating with people that aren't on your doorstep. Mm. Whereas they didn't have mobile phones when our parents were young, did they? How do you communicate with someone? You sent them a letter. Well, how long did that take? Four days? <laughs> yeah. You know, if you wanted to see someone, how would you do it? You'd go and knock on their front door. You're coming out to play! I used to do that as a kid, yeah. Yeah, you'd do that as a kid up until about 10 or 11, wouldn't you? Yeah. Until your parents gave you a mobile phone. You say that, even when I had a mobile, I didn't really text people on no, it. I you'd... still don't know. I still yeah. don't like it. But you'd text people, are, are you able to come out? Or are you free to come out? Wouldn't you? To see if they're busy. If they're not busy, then no, you'd meet really. them. I never did that. Still not from the door. Now? My face. Well, you're not going to shoot that cop shooting at you. It wasn't a cop. Was it not? Why nah. was he shooting you? He wasn't even shooting the cops. What are you doing? Go on, you get it, go on. Ignore the dog, Richards. Well, no, he's licking something. He's been licking something for the past ten minutes. It's probably his own balls again. No, it's not, because it's on your chair. <laughs> probably my balls, then. <laughs> well, they are extra salty, so I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should wash them to him. <laughs> Nah, nah, lose the flavour. <laughs> oh, <I'm just laughs> Shit, I'm nearly dead. I need some you need health. to get some health. I do. I want some armour or something. Ugh. Dexter, what are you doing? Let me sort my dog out. A dog. Oh, real life issues. Hey, Richard, sort the dog out. Hey? Sort the dog out. Sort the. Oh, there he goes. Just put it, put it away. Put it, put it, away. put it in a cupboard somewhere. Just leave it for a bit. No, you can't really do that with dogs. It's like babies. You can't leave them in the cupboard. You can. Can you? <laughs> I don't see why you couldn't. Shit, that's a train. Must avoid the train. I don't think you'd be a very good dad. I'd be a great dad. I'd just be heavily disciplinary on it. If that's a word. Make sure it knows right from wrong. You'd be a disciplinary. And it'd be my right from wrong, not what everyone else thinks is right from wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Your kid's gonna be fucked. Your kid will be in prison by the time he's 18. No, he won't. He'd be like, you know. I don't know. I think I know. I think I'd be a good dad. Why not? <laughs> Your worldviews aren't exactly society's worldviews. No, but society has it wrong, so I'd be much better. Yes. Well, fucking keep up then, you bastards. Ugh. Well, in two years' time, Twin will be in prison. Why would if I you're be in looking prison? for a job in potentially two years' time. <laughs> Why will I be in prison? Why? Yeah. Because you'll be some maverick that will do something stupid to try and prove a point and then society <laughs> will just To prove like, a point, yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. Society will just put you down and go, no twin, you're not allowed to do this and you'd be put in prison for 30 years and by which point you'd die of, of an epilepsy overdose. Why won't they die? Why? Because they won't be bothered to keep you alive because you're a dick. <laughs> I mean, these guys. <laughs> oh. Not one about you. No. Oh, there we go. Come on. Fucking keep up, oh, so, you're, so you're accepting you'd probably end up dying in prison? No, I won't go to prison. Why would I go to prison in the first place? Why? Yeah. Why? Because you're an idiot. Because society will put you there because your views don't, coll co you know, collaborate with society. Yeah. You're after world domination. But society's got it wrong. No. Why? What do you think I'd go for prison for, really? Really? Yeah. Um. What is it people go to prison for? It's, um, you'd, you'd go to prison for... So you got nothing. You've extreme got no fundamentalism. What? Exactly. In what way am I in what extreme way? fundamentalist? Like twin, your view of world domination is the fact that you'd put build a big wall round every country in the world, and you'd use France as an oversized prison. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I won't put a wall around every country now, just France, but. <laughs> 
I don't know, like, I should really stop, like, dissing France, because that, <laughs> they could be viewers. Shit, it's dark in here. I can't see jack shit, French people don't understand English. There we go. Why right. do you think we keep going to war with them? <laughs> <laughs> shit, car, get the car, get the car. Go, 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 go. But it's still, it's just... <laughs> God, I did most of that with no help. Wow. I'm amazing. Medal. Shit, 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 shit. Michael, damn it. Oh, you've got lost a tyre already. Shit. Oh, no, I haven't. Maybe not. I don't think you so. sure? Back uh, left? Back yeah, right? back left, I think, maybe. I don't know. I'll be fine. I'm an elite driver. It's alright, you've, you've robbed a bank, you've only got three stars. It's not like you did something majorly illegal. Yeah, like go to the other island before yeah, exactly. my time. Yeah, exactly, cool. You go to the other <laughs> island. <laughs> six stars. <laughs> Is it really six stars? Yeah, all six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, basically, oh. for being a refugee. <laughs> for, yeah, for immigrating to the other island, so within the... Within, you know, the same t city, you can get done for that. That's six stars. You get the entire military force on you. Bloody hell. Tad over cow. There you go, so you lost a piece of it. You're going to rob a bank for, what, nearly a million? Oh, shit. I'll just slip <laughs> by here. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid police. Bloody hell. I'm man. a Vina. Yeah. Oh. Come on then, talk. Don't say things. <laughs> you had a way. list. Where's your list? No, the list will start in the next. The dog's chasing his tail now. It's always doing that. My dog's tail is out to get him. It Apparently, it's actually, <laughs> yeah. actually going to kill him. Apparently, so. He, he's, can, he's he reckons that it's going to. Because what he does is when he catches it, he then brings it to me. <laughs> so he'll bring his tail to me to dispose of it. But if I grab hold of his tail, dispose of it. Yeah, but if I grab hold of his tail, he'll start biting my hand to let go. Yeah, because you're hurting his tail. But he wants me to have the tail, that's why he brings it to me. Mm. So he reckons his tail is out to get him. But mind you, my dog's not the brightest of, of animals anyway. As adorable as he is. Like, if he wants to go out through a door, he won't bark or scratch at the door. He'll just rest his nose on it. I think you'll go to prison for uh, some kind of like sexual assault. Me? Mm. <laughs> I, I don't think I'd do that. <laughs> why I, not? I wouldn't go to prison for sexual assault, I'd do something a bit better for that. No, I think it would. I think you'd just be a bit too forward with a girl. Like you, it wouldn't be like anything serious, but you'd just be a little bit too forward, like, you know, jumping her while you're drunk with your penis out, which you've done in the past. I've never done that with a woman. You, well, she was a woman as far as I know. I, I don't remember doing that with any woman ever. It was Beaver's back garden. <laughs> <laughs> was it? Yeah, it was on my second girlfriend, actually. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> I just sort of watched and laughed. <laughs> Maybe that's why she left me. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. But yeah, you'll just do something stupid like that and it'll be too like, oh, I've earned a trophy. I probably would oh, get does a that mean we're on the third island now? Full exploration. We are, we're now on the third island, Richard. I told you we'd get through this. Where's my I? trophy for jumping on people with my penis out? Put a little trophy up of me getting a, tr a trophy of jumping on a woman with a penis out. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how I'm going to edit any of that. Like, I get do trophy, it, twin, do it. But to get a man jumping on a woman with his penis out. No, you don't need the picture. Just need the trophy and the caption of, you know, oh, okay, like then. a platinum trophy of me jumping on a woman with my penis First out. place for jumping on woman with penis out. Okay. I'll edit that in. How about that? There you go. Yeah. I definitely remember doing it to Alex. I'm sure we've done it to many people. To be we, fair. Was in, uh, we went to Centre Parks in Cumbria. And... Uh, TG's mum got us drunk. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Uh... <laughs> she brought me and Alex a bottle of wine each. And we'd had we'd pre pre drunk before we went out. And uh, we did a pub quiz. Which we didn't win, funnily enough. No? No, we didn't. I was quite shocked by that. And uh... The dog's chasing his tail again, isn't it? <laughs> it's not, he's lying on his back growling. <laughs> and uh, and uh, what happened? Yeah, and it's obviously you break the seal. So Alex had finished his wine, we'd left. He found a tree, and then I started charging towards Alex. He had his obviously his trousers around his ankles, pissing up against his tree. I went and stuck my finger up his ass, didn't I? He fell straight to the floor. What was the first thing I did? I sent me my text. I made Alex collapse. I stuck my finger up his ass. <laughs> Is this Alex? Which Alex? Stops. Stops. Yeah. <laughs> well, I never. How about that? Never knew about that about you, Stopsy. Eh? Yeah. So. <laughs> He didn't appreciate that, but it's it's a fun conversation piece. <laughs> yeah, I've got to say. 
and we'll find out the uh, result of Richard's second rape lawsuit in the next episode. <laughs> in the next episode, my next rape lawsuit. Yay! <laughs>